When it comes to um, marriage, sometimes we get things wrong. And sometimes we get things spectacularly wrong. But hey, all situations by the power of God are redeemable. But not this isn't necessarily an easy process. Talking about something which is vital, but easier said than done. The topic of forgiveness today. Uh, Vanna Jacobs from Family Life. Kia ora. Good morning. Thanks for your time today. Good morning, Andrew. Always good to talk to you. Now, forgiveness isn't just a, a suggestion in the Bible. It's a command. You know, forgive others as I have forgiven you, says Jesus. Yep. That doesn't mean, oh, yeah, well, Jesus told us to do it. That means everybody automatically does it. It's it's a lot easier said than done. That's that's true. And look, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get to the, the biblical basis for why forgiveness is important. But I think this is something that all of us actually need to work through in our lives and yep. in our marriages in particular. There's something curious that happens when two people live in close proximity. <laughs> you know, the type of close proximity that... Uh, is by design mm. uh, in marriage, yeah. you know, and I think God has a sense of humor in the fact that He's the one who created marriage. And marriage, I used to think, was going to bring out the best in me, and I soon discovered, <laughs> well, it actually brought out the worst in me. Yeah. And and so, look, I've been I've been responsible, and I've been on the receiving end for some calamity. In, in our relationship or, you know, I've needed forgiveness yeah. and I've also been the one who have needed to forgive. Yeah. And I love what Ruth Graham Bell said, or I believe she was quoted saying this, is um, that a good marriage is the union of two good forgivers. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah, right. Exactly. And so, so this is the journey. Like if we... If we haven't learned how to forgive in marriage, you know, we, we, we're we back at that 50-50 marriage where mm. we're, we're only treating each other a certain way when we perform a certain way. Yeah. Whereas forgiveness is actually part of the process of becoming one. And if we remember that marriage is about more than just our personal happiness, but it's mm. actually reflective of our relationship with God, forgiveness and specifically in the context of marriage becomes vital to our not over only our survival as a couple as a marriage but also to our, our flourishing yeah because let's just for a moment talk to what happens when we don't forgive right mm. so forgiveness is one i've got an offense like I've, I've taken offense something happened to me and um i choose not to forgive you mm -hmm. know Maybe I've never received an apology, and so I'm not going to forgive until they apologize. Yeah. Okay, right. But I've moved on. I'm like, I'm just not going to make a deal out of it. I'm moving on. But what happens is actually in my heart, I actually bottle up resentment, mm -hmm. and it just comes out the next time something comes up. And yeah. so something small will happen. So have you ever had had this? Obviously not you, Andrew, and um well, I'll just say, like, we, we have this all the time. Oh. Um, a little offense in marriage just becomes like a big a big deal. But it's not about the little offense. It's about everything that's loaded onto that and the things that we've held onto. Yeah. And I'm guilty of this. When we did our assessment, I think I shared not long ago that one of our areas of work in our marriage is actually forgiveness, which is why the topic's quite fitting today because wow. – um, uh, look, I usually talk about the stuff that, that I need help for in my marriage, and hopefully some others can help it too. Yeah. But how are we forgiving in marriage? And how are we actually setting that prisoner free? And I love that quote that said, forgiveness is about setting a prisoner free and then realizing the prisoner was you. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's so good. You know, and so forgiveness in marriage is this is this process of actually softening toward one another but here's why forgiveness from a biblical perspective is actually is actually crucial. Now, now this is a this is a, a hard saying, but it actually it comes right at the end of Jesus teaching us how to pray, mm -hmm. the our Father. Yep. And so I think forgiveness and prayer is actually quite it goes hand in hand. Um, so you can think about it as a means of answered prayer and unforgiveness and the relation there. But at the end of the the Father's prayer, it says. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your Father in heaven will also forgive you. Yeah. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Gosh, yeah. 
So, so if you don't want to be forgiven, then don't forgive other people. They, or don't want to be forgiven by God more specifically, then hold on to grudges. Gosh, that puts it in yeah. perspective, eh? And 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 look honestly, like this is, um, this is not popular. This is not a popular thing to say, but unfortunately, it is true. Yeah. And and the reality is, you know, the saying "hurt people, hurt people." Mm-hmm. Well, forgiven people, forgive people. Yes. So good. And and I think at the root of our struggle to forgive is actually our struggle with pride. Mm. Because we don't really think we need forgiveness. Yeah. But that's where the Bible teaches us that the Holy Spirit will convict our hearts of sin. Mm. And if our hearts are convicted of our own inadequacies, and if we're crushed under the weight of our own sin, well, then the need for a savior becomes revealed. Yeah. and the need for forgiveness. And once we've recognized the forgiveness that we needed and the gracious gift of our Father to forgive, it becomes a lot easier to forgive others. Yeah. But when we're in this self-righteous, self-justification mode, it's not easy to forgive. And here's a little here's a little secret or a little tip that I learned early on in my marriage. I'm still trying to apply it <laughs> regularly, but the times where I do apply it, it works marvelously. Someone said to me once, um, life becomes a lot easier if you learn to forgive the apology you never received. Oh, wow. Because that's an important one. Some people will say, hey, I got stuck because I couldn't forgive because they never asked me for forgiveness. But you, you you don't have to be polite and wait for them to go first on this one, right? That's right. So forgiveness is not, or an apology isn't prerequisite to forgiveness. Yeah. And so my encouragement to to listeners out there today is just just search your own heart today towards your spouse. What are you holding on to? What are you holding on to that you haven't forgiven them for? Mm. Um, Maybe you need to have a conversation about that, or maybe you don't. Maybe you just decide. Maybe you write it down. Maybe you want to pray about it. But I want to encourage you today, start by deciding to forgive, even the little things. I forgive you for not rinsing the dish, um, the, the, <laughs> the dishes, yeah, you know, yeah, before yeah. you put them in the, in, the, in the dishwasher or whatever the case. Just decide that you want to forgive whether or not they've um, apologized and, and let that forgiveness, that posture of humility and forgiveness actually mm. set the tone in your marriage. I, I think that's so important. But I mean, the thing about the dish, because I wanted to bring this up. Because communication is so important to this, because sometimes it's not it's not a dishes thing, but I'm, but the principle still applies. Sometimes sure. I find that I get in trouble for something that I have no idea that I've gotten in trouble for. Yeah, uh, that that I need to ask forgiveness for something that I don't know that I've even done or that has caused offence. Yep. And yep. Uh, and and look. That's not an excuse. I should just get smarter at communicating and and pick up the signs a little bit more. Uh, but mm-hmm. but it is difficult. Uh, that, yep. uh, you know, I'm not I'm not waking up in the morning and making a to do list of hey here's some some uh, ways in which I can annoy my wife. However, <laughs> every single day, I will do something that you annoys my to wife. That. I, I, yeah, exa- exactly. <laughs> uh, but having the conversation and it's it's not always grace for a person to say, you know what, that thing really annoyed me, but I'm not even going to bring it up because, you know, that's that's not going to help the relationship. Honestly, yep. maybe it will help the relationship because if you don't know something, if you keep doing something that really annoys the other person and they don't even know that annoys them, mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know. Uh, asking for a friend, sometimes find myself stuck in that place, but but hey, I'm learning and growing, Vaynard. So, so I've learned this... Um a coach told me one day actually is is around asking that person in your life, and this might be your spouse, it might actually be a work colleague, as yeah. is there something I've done that I need to apologize for? Mm-hmm. That's not a bad conversation to have. It's actually saying, hey, I'm coming at this with humility, yep. and um, maybe I've done something against you that I'm unaware of, I would like to be notified, you know, I'd like to know about that. And I'd like to, you know, um, clean up my mess. Exactly. That's something we teach our kids all the time. When they did something, it's their job to clean up their mess. And Mm. so if you're the offender in that sense, yes, you need to ask. But I want to just also hone in today. Like if you're the one holding something against your spouse, um, let's search our hearts and let's truly forgive 
and see how that translates into our relationship with our Heavenly Father. See how that is able to actually transform our prayer life. Mm. Because I think prayer and answered prayer and our intimacy with Jesus is actually linked to our ability to forgive. And so my encouragement is let's pursue those relationships that matter most. Mm. Realize how much we have been forgiven for and then forgive and set others free. Prayer is such an important part of it, both uh, if, if it is a major issue and you're really, really struggling to to offer forgiveness, then, then, then praying, asking God to help you with that is a good thing. But it's also very difficult to uh, pray a blessing on somebody that you haven't forgiven. Actually, those, those things really work hand in hand, don't they? And that's a good, a good test to see if you have forgiven. If you yep. can bless them, it means you've, you've forgiven. But here's maybe a last word of encouragement for, for those people that felt like, There's been an injustice Mm -hmm. done to me and I cannot just let this person get away with it. It's not okay. You know, the Bible says, vengeance is mine, Mm -hmm. says the Lord. And so it is not my job to make sure somebody else gets the payment, gets what they deserve, so to speak. You know, if, 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 if I, if I ask for what I deserve, well, then, then hell will be my portion. I'm sorry to say that, but wow. but the reality is, exactly. if if we all really got what we deserve, uh, we wouldn't be in a good space. But the Lord showers us with grace, mm. so that we can also live as recipients and also the givers of forgiveness and grace to those around us. Living in that undeserved favor, that grace that God has given us. Such wonderful words of wisdom as always. And hey, more of that available, not just for Marriage Week, but every week of the year at familylife.nz. Vaynard, thanks for your wisdom. Thanks for joining us. Kia ora. Thanks, Andrew. Hey, thanks very much for joining us in the Rima studio. Thanks very much for watching the interview. It's kind of nice to have an audience, actually. And if you did like what you watched, then do give us a like, do give us the thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more interviews like that one, or perhaps even better, subscribe and those interviews will come straight to you. Don't forget to turn on your notifications and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.